My name is Kenny Hannes, and I've been able to fully heal myself from a very severe case of ulcerative colitis by nutritionally optimizing my gut microbiome. Once I started, it took me a total of 18 months to fully heal. In that time, I tried many different things, but there were four major chronological experiments that I did for different amounts of time with varying degrees of success. The first experiment was cabbage juice. I drank 32 ounces of fresh cabbage juice per day for a total of 30 days with incredible results that included ending a two-month flare in just three days. Immediately after that, the second experiment was going completely vegan following High Carb Health's protocol for 13 months with many ups and downs. Thirdly, I did a seven-day water fast before resuming the vegan diet. And then finally, the last major experiment was implementing a gut microbiome optimizing protocol that I designed myself, which allowed me to finally achieve the definition of heal that I was looking for, which is to be able to consume a full range of foods without bleeding, mucus, urgency, or diarrhea, to have well-formed, solid bowel movements, and to be on no medication. In this video, we're going to dive into my experience with cabbage juice, the research I've come across, and the role it plays in helping to heal inflammatory bowel disease moving forward. I am not a doctor or a dietitian. This information is based solely on the conclusions I've drawn as well as my own personal experience. This should not be taken as medical advice. When I first started looking for nutritional ways to heal ulcerative colitis in 2015, I stumbled across a popular YouTube video that many of you have probably already seen titled, Ulcerative Colitis Cured in Just One Week. How? By drinking 32 ounces of fresh organic cabbage juice per day. At this point, I was in a two month flare that consisted of sprinting to the toilet with horrible urgency anywhere between 10 and 12 times per day, passing only watery diarrhea with mucus and periodic bleeding. I had not had a form stool since the flare began. I was so desperate for healing and so excited that this might work that I didn't give it a second thought. I was all in, and I'm glad that I was, because unbeknownst to me, in 1949, Dr. Garnett Cheney had started publishing studies that showed cabbage juice was able to induce rapid healing of peptic ulcers. Dr. Cheney did several experiments with different results some patients were healing in a matter of days while other patients were healing in three or more weeks. But the pattern was always the same. In each study that I read, the patients treated with fresh cabbage juice were healing faster than the patients treated with standard diet and medication. I read these studies after my experience with cabbage juice, but the cool thing is my experience mirrored Dr. Cheney's findings. Before I started juicing cabbage, I quit all medication, which I'm not recommending that you do. That's just what I did. I bought a juicer and some organic cabbage and followed most of the directions in the video because again, I had not read Dr. Cheney's work at this time. I was going entirely based off of the video. The directions I followed were green organic cabbage only, juiced, not blended, drink at least eight ounces four times daily for a total of 32 ounces per day. I juice fresh each time and always drink on an empty stomach. I usually ended up drinking between 10 to 20 ounces four times daily and finished between 32 to 50 ounces total for the day. Take a high quality probiotic supplement. I took four capsules of Fluorocor GI by AST Enzymes in the morning and evening on an empty stomach. I'm not going to lie to you. It tasted absolutely horrible. I hated it. I dreaded drinking it every single time. The first three days, all I remember was burping cabbage, feeling bloated, and having worse diarrhea than I did when I started. But on the night of the third day, for the first time in two months, I passed a soft form stool instead of diarrhea. It was painful and it was bloody, but it had form. I was so excited that I took a photo and sent it to all my friends to tell them that the cabbage juice was working. It did not heal me in one week like I hoped, but over the next few days, I continued to have soft form, fluffy stools with ragged blood tinged edges, and it was an upward trend. Every day, the stools were getting firmer and the symptoms were decreasing. So as much as I hated drinking the cabbage juice, I decided I was going to continue doing it until I reached 30 days. For the duration of the experiment, I ate two meals per day that consisted of baked or broiled chicken with steamed white rice and steamed squash or zucchini. I'd eat differently now if I could do it over, but this is what I ate during that time. The actual task of juicing and cleaning the equipment was incredibly time consuming. I felt bloated most days and I continued burping up a horrible cabbage sulfur smell the entire time. But I was making small improvements every day. And at the end of 30 days, I was having two to three mostly normal bowel movements with a huge decrease in pain, urgency, mucus, and bleeding. I was still experiencing these symptoms, but the flare was over and I felt like there was an overall 70% decrease in the intensity of the symptoms I was experiencing. Retrospectively, the positive results I had while juicing cabbage makes sense after reading Dr. Cheney's work. His most interesting study was performed by administering one quart which is 32 ounces of fresh raw cabbage juice daily to 65 patients who all had peptic ulcers. Most of them achieved clinical relief of symptoms in two to five days. 
in both Dr. Cheney's study and the video I watched, the common denominator is drinking one quart of cabbage juice each day. I suspect the directions in the video originated from Dr. Cheney's study, and since the same directions were followed, it should not be surprising that the two-month flare I was in died down almost completely by day three, falling perfectly within the two to five day range that it took for Dr. Cheney's patients to experience relief. Dr. Cheney attributed the ulcer healing factor of cabbage juice to what he called vitamin U. The U stands for ulcer. Vitamin U is not actually a vitamin, but an enzyme known as S-methylmethionine. I'm still learning what the biochemical mechanism is that allows S-methylmethionine to be such a potent ulcer healing compound. However, I'm not one to get hung up on details. I don't know if S-methylmethionine is what makes cabbage juice so powerful. I suspect it's a combination of vitamin U and other compounds in cabbage juice like glutamine working together synergistically that make it such a powerful healing food. The big picture is what is important to me, and the big picture is this. Something about drinking one quart of fresh cabbage juice per day allows some major healing to take place in a short amount of time based on this video, my personal experience, and Dr. Cheney's work. I know that I benefited greatly during the 30 days that I drank cabbage juice in 2015. I've even used it periodically after completely healing with great results at times that I know my digestive system and colon are going to be under way more stress than usual, like when I had my colonoscopy done in 2018 to prove that I have actually healed. Now, while following a gut microbiome optimizing protocol is what allowed me to fully and finally heal, I think that cabbage juice is a very incredible tool, and I wish that I had implemented it more while I was still healing because I think that drinking one quart of cabbage juice per day in combination with a gut microbiome optimizing protocol may be one of the very fastest ways to completely heal inflammatory bowel disease. I obviously think that the cause of IBD is a compromised gut microbiome. So the combination of the two is really exciting to me because it utilizes the fast acting healing properties of cabbage juice while also correcting the underlying dysbiosis of the gut microbiome. Could drinking one quart of cabbage juice per day for an indefinite amount of time be enough to optimize the gut microbiome and reverse IBD without following a protocol like mine? Maybe. I think the answer is yes, but there will still need to be some dietary modifications made. Cabbage juice alone will not be enough to optimize the gut microbiome if someone is consistently eating things that compromise the gut microbiome and create dysbiosis. Drinking a quart of cabbage juice is not something I want to do every day or something I want to rely on. I'd rather use it as a tool that is supplementary to a consistent, enjoyable, and all-inclusive nutritional gut microbiome optimizing approach that gives me as much freedom as possible.